Yeah. What we Ooh. see is a lot more depth yeah. with this team. But at the top end, you know, you know who Bradley Beal is. Right. There's no Russell Westbrook anymore. Totally. Who played second half of the season at an MVP level. So, who do you imagine looking at that depth chart? Having an immediate impact, let's start with the, the players coming in because there are a lot of them. Spencer Dinwiddie, Kyle Kuzma. Uh, who do you see having the – Montrez Harrell? Who do you see having the Spencer biggest impact? Spencer Dinwiddie. Okay. Spencer Dinwiddie. And, and here's why. Because he plays the game the right way. He's a willing passer. He can hit a spot open shot. So, like, when he's a, a good yin and yang – with uh, Bradley Beal to me, right? Spence is, is very methodical when it comes to the game. I think he's got to take advantage of his opportunity. I think he's been working for it and waiting for it. Um, he's done some amazing things out in Brooklyn before that, that happened. And so for me, he's going to be the guy when Brad needs to go, he can get him a play. When, when, uh, when Montrez, Montrezel, needs a ball, <laughs> he's going to get on the rock. He's going to run the right place and run this team the way it should be. Um, and, and I think, obviously, he's not as good as, as Russell Westbrook, but I think he's also willing to come off the ball a little bit more than Russ was. An observation, uh, young guys playing with LeBron sometimes, they have to fit a role. Yeah. Kyle Kuzma, one of those guys, right. a championship caliber player. Congrats to him on that. But now he's in Washington. Looking to stake his own, what do you imagine Kyle Kuzma will provide for the Wizards this season? I think he's going to provide a spark of, of offense, uh, but I also think he's going to fit in the role, right? He's, and let's just keep it real, this is Bradley Beal's team, right? But again, if he can score the ball consistently and take it and, and just be solid on his defensive matchups, he's going to give you, you know what I'm saying? He's going to give you between 12 and 15 points. And that's really all you need. You don't need him. Some games, give me once a week, give me, give me a 20. Once a week. That's it. We play four games in a week. Give me 21 game and the rest will figure it out. But I think, again, all these dudes can score. Montrez is a beast on the block. Great energy. Extra offensive rebounds, blah, blah, blah. Defensively is where the biggest question is, can they stop the ball? Do they want to stop the ball? Because if you look, there's a lot of guys that need the ball to be effective. But if they can get out and get steals, these guys who are offensive juggernauts are going to have the opportunity to get an easy layup and, and get extra points. Yeah, rebounding has been an issue uh, for the Wizards for a few years. Right. Russell Westbrook helped to solve some of that. Right. So we got to go to the guys down low because there's going to be a bigger onus on them. Right. Daniel Gafford is the projected starter for them with Thomas Bryant coming back from ACL surgery, the same thing that Spencer Dinwiddie's coming back from. For Gafford, a trade deadline guy last year, uh, in the in February, now he's coming in. He's going to be the starter. Right. What do you expect from him, from a guy that didn't do well in Chicago and showed some promise late last season? Well, I think opportunity is everything. Is he prepared for this opportunity to be a starter? Is he prepared uh, to go to battle with his team every single night? And once you look, they are backcourt heavy team. So he's not going to be. Get, he got to get that ball off the rim, and he's got to create opportunities for himself, right? You know, obviously he may get the post up first play of the game, but other than that, lobs. You know, little dribble handoffs, screen and rolls, you know, things go of that nature. But at the end of the day, he got to have a relationship with Dinwiddie and Bradley Beal. And if he can do that, he's going to get big time minutes. But he's also got to take advantage of his opportunity because there are some thirsty guys that have also been starters and also had good opportunities that are ready to play in Montrezl and, uh, and Thomas Bryant. <laughs> Montrezl. Man, <laughs> you, you pointed that out, that there's an L at the end of his first name. I did not know that. For those that did not know I thought that, it was a, Channing did his research. That's what he provided for I the show. I thought it was a typo. Wizards will make the playoffs this year. Ooh. You in or out? Is a play-in game the playoffs? When you get the eighth seed. So if you win the playing game, that's you count as being in the It's playoffs. hard for me to – Bradley Beal is so dang good. I, I think they will be 8, 9, 10. That's where I got them. So not a top six seed for not sure. Not a top six. I okay. just don't think they have that right now. I think too many new guys getting new opportunities. They have that big hole at forward. Who's going to start? What's going to happen? Uh, but for me, it's going to be a very if exciting If they get team. to the top six, will Beal be in the MVP discussion? Oh, That's what yes. he wants. Oh, for sure. For sure.